welcome to Linux tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install JBoss in CentOS. For installing JBoss, you need to have Java installed in your system. First, we can see how to install Java 7. You need to download the Java 7 installation package from the Oracle official site. Here's the download link. Now open your browser and paste your link and go to the following URL. You can accept your license agreement for your required version package and I am going to give the download for the tar.gz package. Now select the JDK Linux x64 tar.gz. You need to have an Oracle account to download the package. Now click OK. Now you can see the download has started. This will take some time. Now the package download is completed. Now we can proceed the Java installation. Now move to the terminal and we can create the directory for Java make directory slash usr slash Java. Now the directory is created. Now go to the downloads directory and list the files. You can see the JDK file that is downloaded. Now move the JDK downloaded package to slash usr Java. Now change the directory to slash usr java now list the files now we can extract the downloaded package tar iphone xvf jdk now the file is extracted now list the files now you can see the jdk folder is created now change the directory to jdk the jdk folder that is created is the java home directory next we can see how to install JBoss application server. Before installing the JBoss, you need to download the JBoss package. We can download the JBoss package from the following link. Copy this link and paste it in the browser. Now here you can see the latest version, final version that is available, 7.1.1. Now download the zip file. We can download it using the wget command. Now change the directory to user share and I am going to download it using the wget command wget and paste the zip file link for downloading now give enter a download has started this will take some time now the jboss package is downloaded now we can unzip the package unzip iphone q the package name now give enter now the package is unzipped now we can rename the extracted directory. Now list the files. I am going to rename the JBoss AS 7.1.1 to JBoss iPhone AS JBoss space JBoss iPhone AS. Now give enter. Now the directory is renamed. Now the JBoss home is slash user share JBoss iPhone AS. Now next we can see how to create the JBoss user and run the JBoss application server. Now we can add the JBoss group. Group add JBoss. Now the group is added. Now we can create the JBoss user with the bin bash shell. User add iPhone s space slash bin bash iPhone g space JBoss space JBoss. Now give enter. Now the user JBoss is added. Now we can change the ownership for the JBoss home directory. Change own iPhone RF JBoss dot JBoss space slash user share JBoss iPhone AS. Now the ownership is set for the JBoss AS directory. Next, we can put the Java into the path of JBoss and root. For that, you need to edit the .bash profile file of JBoss and user root. Now, go to the home directory of JBoss. Now, list the files using ls-la. Now, we can see the .bash underscore profile file. Open the .bash underscore profile now here you need to add the java path here's the java home path now paste it here 
and save the file and exit now we need to add the java path to the root dot bash profile file cd slash root now list the files using the ls hyphen la and here you can see the dot bash profile file of root user now open the file now add the path save the file and exit now we can check the java version java iphone version now here we can see the java 1.7 is successfully installed now we can see how to create stop start restart script for jboss now change the directory to slash user share jboss iphone aus slash bin slash init t here you need to copy the jboss as standalone.sh file to etc init.t jboss i'm going to list the file now here you can see the script file that is available copy this jboss standalone script file to slash etc init.t slash jboss and give enter now the file is copied now we need to make two changes to the script file that is copied now now change the directory to slash etc init.t slash jboss slash etc slash init.t now list the files now open the jboss script file to make changes to the file in the script file we need to change the check config to 234 space 80 space 20 and next you need to set the jboss user and below the java home you need to add the following jboss user configuration now paste the configuration and now save the file and exit now we can run the jboss service now before running you need to set the permission for the jboss change mode 755 jboss now the permission is set now we can start the jboss service service jboss start now we can see the jboss service started before accessing the jboss you need to change the bind address to make the jboss accessible for that you need to stop the jboss service first and now we can see how to change the bind address to make the jboss accessible now you need to edit the standalone.xml file which is located in the following location change directory slash users share jboss iphone as slash standalone slash configuration now open the standalone.xml file standalone.xml here now search the interface and in the interface you need to change the bind address for the public interface now change it to 0.0.0, .0 to make the jboss accessible now save the file and exit now we can start the jboss service service jboss start now the jboss service is started now we can open the browser and open the new tab and enter your ip address colon the port number 8080 now give enter now here you can see the the jboss application server is successfully installed and it is running in this video we saw how to install jboss 7 in centos thank you for watching